the Internet of Things, I think, has three basic building blocks to help define how I see it. And those are, importantly, sensors, connectivity, people, and process. We've always had information, but now what's distinctive is we have things. So we're used to using the Internet essentially as a backbone from which we can access information. We all started with uh, the latest instantiation of machine to machine controlling things, like you know, feed my dog when, I, when I'm not home. Um, but that's different than the things having sensors and initiating requests of a system. So three basic elements. But they imply a really different experience. So, you know, in the past, or to tell you the truth, currently, I uh, look at the, the thermometer and I say it's 90 degrees and I say to myself, wow, it looks hot out, maybe I should water the lawn. So I go out and I water the lawn. And it's not very high tech, technology has been very, very good to me, but you know, the truth is I find something charming about looking at the uh, thermometer and going out and watering the grass. But then we started moving into what I'd call, and I call those the good old days. The next phase is more about connectivity, where I'm connected to information, so I am accessing the weather through the internet, and then I'm making a decision based on that information to, you know, I could even give the voice command, turn the sprinkler system off this week. The IoT day is very different. It's the this is not necessarily a thermometer. I couldn't find an icon because they don't exist yet. This is a sensor in the earth. And this is uh, not an application, but weather information, forecast information. And based on knowledge of that, as well as other inputs, the sensors could note that my hostas are dry. Uh, but it could also know that it's going to rain in the future. So it will initiate itself the uh, watering of a particular zone for maybe 20 minutes and then turn the sprinkler off for eight days. So it's a very different world. I find information. I am actually the sensor in a way. Oh, it's very hot outside. I'm, I'm going to go water the lawn to using the internet to access that information and maybe control uh, like a machine to machine command. But the idea of having sensors, things, noticing situations, and initiating action is essentially you know, what the Internet of Things is about.